Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. And this is our squash planter. As you all know, I walked away for a weekend. These are self growing planters. They grow your food with no human intervention. A week. Uh, uh, for a week. And they've been growing by themselves with no human intervention. And so, as you can see, we have some squash. Okay. I don't know how many we have. Now, because squash is. Uh, is pollinated. I see one here also. There is a bee that pollinates the squash. Come take a look at this one also up in here. And this squash bee that pollinates the squash is not readily available as it used to be. The pollution and everything else that we are emitting from our lifestyles is destroying the environment. And therefore, the squash bee doesn't have a chance to come back like we would like it to. Can you see this one out here also? I don't know if you see that little tiny one there. Let me see if I can make some space for this one. Can you see that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. And one over here also. Way over there. And, uh, of course, there's one here also. You can see that. And there's more that we're not identifying on this vine. So, there's a pewter pot will grow your squash. I came back, and, of course, they've been running by themselves. They had torrential rain. I mean, it was really bad rain yesterday. And I think last week they had really bad rain, which is really great because the torpedo pot utilizes that rain to achieve its goals. And, uh, but the squash are doing fine and they look really big. And I have more squash that are coming along the way. And I'm very satisfied with the results. I don't know when I'm going to pick them. Um, but unlike the cucumber, we picked them all off in the squash. Now, we had a lot more squash on this planter. And I can see when we're away from vacation, um, it yielded a lot of squash. The problem is, is that if you do not get out and if you don't pollinate your squash, then your squash will die on the vine. So what we did is that with the squash that you're looking at, we pollinated them. We hand pollinated them before we left. And so we were very fortunate. This small one you see right here was naturally pollinated. We didn't have any opportunity to touch that. But as you can see, let me show you some ones that were not pollinated and had a potential to produce squash, but they didn't. Look at this right here. Can you see that? That right there has a potential to produce squash. Point to it. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. And you see that bulb? Mm -hmm. And when you start see seeing them turning yellow, that means that they were not pollinated. This flower for the small one probably has not opened up yet, but you can see that they're dying on the vine. So you have a potential for your squash plants to grow an enormous amount of squash. This is a condensed area, so we're really not taking advantage of the space that we have here. The small space we're taking advantage of. But we can have these vines go out as much as as much as 20 feet. You'll see for some of our cucumbers, the vine just goes on and on and just runs out. I think we have 16 feet in terms of vine. But the squash, you can see, are not as, uh, they don't extend out as far as the cucumber in some cases. But we're gonna we're gonna step back and take a look at this and see what happens. So Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Where we um, manufacture self-growing planters, and we just want to let you guys know that your planters can grow anything. There is nothing that the torpedo pot cannot grow. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.